As we enter the back half of the Clash Royale League West Fall 2020 season, the stakes could not be higher, so the players are pulling out all the stops. I'm Rich Slayton, and this is your top five plays from week six. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, ring the bell for notifications, and never miss a moment of the great CRL West action. Opening things up at number five, Buffmac of Tribe Gaming up against Lince, and Buffmac is way behind against a royal giant and check out the stun fest at the bridge ram rider electro wizard royal ghost comes in behind a dps that sucker down and royal giant does not get a single touch on that left hand tower now check out the counter push that ghost is invisible the fisherman can't see him slides right on through gets on tower gg well played clutch win great defense from both mac in a really tough spot on to our number four play kevin from Chivas Esports has had a rough season, but this was a breakout day for him. And check out the micro here. The E was on that hog rider on the right, but Kevin drops the skeletons to split the damage from the Electro Wizard, resulting in one more hit from the hog rider. Brilliant bit of micro from the rookie. We'll see more from this game later. On to number three, Pain Gaming has made a big shift in their 2v2, taking sweep out, putting Lucas in, and so far, Lucas and Wallace have been absolutely phenomenal. And why wouldn't Lucas be great when he has a hog rider and skeletons in his hand? One of the best 2.6 players in the world doing it here in 2v2. And check out the moves here. Log from one player, skeletons from the other. That's coordination. That's teamwork. King Tower activation. Now check this out again. That log was Wallace's log that knocked over the Magic Archer. Those skeletons were Lucas's skeletons. And this is why Pain Gaming is back in the playoff hunt. Our number two play. What a fun game this was. Lapicati running Igor's own deck from his most recent YouTube video against him. And check out the protection here. Musketeer down. The Royal Giant comes up high to keep that musky alive. Now watch that bottom left-hand side. Lapo takes a ton of damage, but he only spends three Elixir to defend against those five Elixir Royal Hogs, which means he banks that too, which turns turns into this a second royal giant keeping that same musketeer on the board and Igor just can't get to her. Check this out. Fisherman out on the outside keeps the musketeer even more protected. Igor is spending like crazy just to stay in it. So a great bit of work and oh yes, why not add a prediction log in there as well to take off some spear goblins. Lapicati with perfect macro and micro in this matchup to get the win over his close friend. And on to our top play back to the same game Javi Catorze and Kevin R.A. and Javi says well Kevin if you have some fancy moves check out what I can do the cannon cart gets across the bridge gets DPS down by the skeletons but check it out as it drops with the tower connection Ewiz comes in so late the game got fooled but Ewiz there just in time to turn the hog rider away from the tower and back to the cannon cart. A double swing on both sides. Defense, offense, that's why Javi Catorze is so great and why SK Gaming is at the top in our league. Again, I know you love these plays. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you're here for every step of Clash Royale League West as we get closer and closer to our world finals in Shanghai, China.